Welcome back to the Evansville Otters pregame show. I'm Mike Radomski. It's time now for the manager's report as we sit on down with Wayne Cran. Chicky, Chick, we'll start off with yesterday's game, a 2 nothing win for River City. It was rain shortened. What did you see in the game? Well, again, we, we just got off to a uh, horrible, horrible start swing in the back again. Um, you know, we, we've gone through a stretch now where we're just not doing anything in the first three or four innings of the ball games. Um, compared to two weeks ago, we were putting three or four or five up on the board early, you know, giving our, our pitchers a chance to settle into the ball games, and we just had not swung the bats well early in the games. Is there something you're noticing that's taken away from that? Well, I, you know, sometimes there's some glare, background issues uh, on the times of the games that we're playing, but, you know, the other teams are playing in it also. Um, I, I think we've gotten very impatient over the last couple of weeks. We've uh, swung a lot of balls, swung a lot of balls out of the strike zone, where a couple of weeks ago we seemed to be one of the most patient offenses out there. And, uh, and we still do lead um, the league with walks, but we're, we're swinging at a lot of bad pitches. It seems like the top of the lineup right now not setting the table like anticipated. What are you seeing up there? Well, that's true. You know, we've we've had a lot of guys that uh, ha have gone from that 325 mark. Rosie uh, Harris has has done the same thing and, and fell down into the 290s. Um, you know, when you start losing 30 points. Uh, on your average, so you know that uh, think we're going through some tough times early in the, in the lineup. Wayne Kramczyk, you joining us here on the manager's report. Let's talk about some of the bright spots yesterday. Derek Wiley inserted into the lineup, one of the newest additions to your team. What did you observe in his first game? Well, I mean, it, it looks like he has a very good makeup. Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, he's had two at bats, so I'm not going to put a whole lot on two at bats right now, but. Uh, he's a strong kid. Uh, hopefully he can fill the void that uh, Frank Mead left. Marcel Champagny back from the disabled list. Once again, you only saw two at-bats from him, but how important is it to have him back out there defensively and offensively? Well, it gives us, uh, you know, it gives us more versatility uh, when we have him in the lineup. We didn't have him. We, we didn't have some players that needed some rest. Uh, Rose is getting some rest today. Uh, we got a long bus ride after tonight's ball game. And, a couple more guys will get a rest tomorrow uh, that have been playing. You know, it, you know, Harris has only missed two or three innings all year long. Rose has only missed two or three innings all year long. So some of these guys are going to need some time, especially with this bus trip coming up tonight. Angelo Morales yesterday pitched five innings for your team. What did you see from him? Well, again, he, you know, pitched uh, – Pitched very, you know, fairly well. He made a few mistakes yesterday, but his his first three starts have been very good. We haven't scored any runs for him. We didn't again yesterday. Uh, so again, that puts pressure on him to try and make perfect pitches all the time when you're not scoring runs for the for the pitcher. Wayne Kranchik, you joining us here on the pregame show. You played two games now against River City. What stands out about them? Well, they seem to be scrappy. They look like they have a little bit of speed. We've already controlled their running game somewhat. Um, after Peters' game where he let them steal bases in the first inning, I think we threw out three or four in a row since then. But uh, uh, they're, they're a scrappy ball club. They play in a small ballpark, but they, don't, they haven't hit for much power in this ballpark. Um, hopefully we can today. We've had a chance to see some good plays from your defense, Billy Killian throwing out a runner, Pat Rose making a sliding catch at second base. What have you noticed with your defense lately? Well, we've been we've been pretty solid. Uh, you know, we've we've uh, we've been solid all year long. We've you know everybody's going to have those games where you, where you kick it around and it, and it's just one of those games. But uh, we've been pretty solid all year long. Uh, you know, we, we we seem to make the plays, uh, and hopefully that can continue. Chad Edwards getting the start here after a very strong first appearance with your team. What stood out about him? Well, we liked what we saw when, when he threw for us at the tryout camp. Uh, he pitched down in his own, you know, pretty good velocity for a kid coming straight out of college. Um, and I liked all three of his pitchers. The slider and his changeup were good. Um, so he, he's going to get that chance to, to see what he can do. And is that what made the decision that you were going to put him then into the rotation? Yeah, and you know, there's, we have some other issues in our starting rotation that may have to be solved quickly also, uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to make one change now. And Robert Romero, we heard the other day, being added to the disabled list with the blister on his finger. Did that happen during the last game? 
Yeah, he, he started, I, I, I kept noticing him looking at his finger, looking at his finger, and never said anything, and finally he called us out, and he had already had a blister so bad that it was beyond helping him at that point, and uh, this, this could be a, you know, a long process. And if you think about Romero's loss, how does that then change the lineup in your bullpen? One less player. All right, Jake, short spoken. Thank you very much, and good luck tonight. Okay, thank you. That was Wayne Crenshaw, the Evers manager. We'll be right back on the Evansville Otters pregame show right after this.